Hey guys, sorry about the bright light. I am in my car and I am taking my doggy, my baby, my nana to the groomers. I'm not sure if you can hear her back there. Turn right. Yes, she is back there. She's so hyper. Right now I'm taking her to well past due grooming. She needs her hair cut. I mean, this girl looks like Bigfoot from Harry and the Hendersons. I don't know if y'all remember that movie. <laughs> you see her back there moving around, Nina. There she is. You ready for your haircut, Nina? Are you ready? Nina, you ready for your haircut? Stay back there. Stay back there. <laughs> She's so freaking shaggy. It's funny. So anyway, so I am taking her to get her haircut. It's a new place. I'm a little nervous because her regular groomers up and left. Normally we do the the teddy bear haircut on her, but the rest of her body is like like super super close. In. Are you ready for your haircut, baby? I found the place. I didn't realize it was so close to home. We're like right across the street from the house. I don't understand why I never saw this place here. But it's like right across the street from the house. <laughs> Okay, so convenient. So anyways, we're going in now. Hopefully, everything will turn out great. So we are here at Precious Paws. Look how cute this place is. It is so adorable and so cute. And he just took her to the back and they're working on a couple dogs. So I'm really excited. But let me show you the place. They got it all decorated for Halloween. So that's Ray with the dogs. Hopefully then I'll make it to the Wall of Fame. Oh, look at the table. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, cute. So he must have groomed that dog. I'm hoping he doesn't, he, you saw those pictures on the wall. He's supposed to be like a award-winning groomer. And I'm just stunned that I never realized how close to home that place was. I've been taking her to this other place that was still close to home, but a little out of the way. This is like literally right across the street from the house, which is weird because I also go to the restaurant right there, Maraca, and I've just never noticed it. Weird. Uh, I'll be back to show you. Then I'm gonna go run some errands, go shopping, pick up some stuff for dinner. And then hopefully they'll call me by then and let me know when she's ready and you guys will see how cute and adorable she looks. Yeah. One hour later. I just got bad news from the Oh my god! I knew the dog was bad because we haven't been able to take her to the groomers. Like I said, my groomer up and left and disappeared. And a while back ago, she stepped on a pile of fire ants. They chewed up her leg and then kept like biting it that she chewed it down to the bone. So she had to wear a cone for about a month. But I guess wearing the cone too made her ears and behind her neck a little matted. And I knew she was bad. This is the worst she's ever been as far as like getting groomed. And so the groomers just called and said they can't do the teddy bear look. They're gonna have to like completely cut off all her hair. Which means she's gonna look like a rat. I hate when they do that. I, I remember when we first moved out here, I did the mistake of not telling the groomer what I wanted. And when I went to pick her up, she looked like a completely different dog. I don't want them to do that, but right now we don't have a choice. So I just got off the phone with the groomer. I said, do the best you can do around the face where it's not like super, super short because I don't want her to look weird. So he's gonna do the best that he can, but now I'm scared to go pick her up because she's not gonna look like herself. Oh, so anyways, I thought I would update you on that. I've been trying to kill time because I don't want to go home to get out of the car and go back. I know I said it was right across the street, but where I live, my subdivision, is such a pain in the butt to get out. In is not that bad, but getting out is a pain in the butt. Getting out, you have to like make a right and then go down fight against the traffic to get all the way on the left side to make a u-turn to come around to go just across the street and then now right now is traffic time so it takes forever to get out of my subdivision nobody slows down for you because it's off of like a main road it's a big subdivision it's nice up in there but when you get out it's a big like 
road and it's just non-stop traffic. So you can be sitting there for about five, 10 minutes and I hate it. So I've been trying to kill time, did a little bit of Christmas shopping, bought some stuff, got some lunch for you this guys look at this this is a tostón which is like a plantain fried plantain but it's a cheeseburger now in chicago we have what we call hibarito which is a steak sandwich but instead of the bread it's the plantain so i was at this mall here and got this burger on a tostón guys i think this is a colombian thing let's try it out Oh my god, guys. This is like the best thing ever. I don't even want to know how many calories are in this. Oh my god. Okay, let me see if I can show you. It looks like a big mess. This is good. Wow, guys. I'm in love. Good thing that this place is not right, right back on up. Ah, I can't even talk. That's how good this is. Good thing that this place is not right around the corner from my house because this is dangerous. That's how freaking good it is. So anyways, I thought I would update you and let you know. I'm trying to kill time also because I have to go pick up my daughter. She's going to be in a play, a musical. But I don't have to pick her up till about 6.30. It's like 4.38 right now. So if I head over there, where I'm at right now, it's going to take me about an hour to get there. And I'll still be some time. Heck. And then the dog's not ready yet. I guess I'll go more Christmas shopping then. Get in, loser. We're going shop. How cool is Well, this chicken burger. Okay. All right. So we're going to start driving. Hopefully, the next time I come back, I have Nana. And she'll look like a rat. I'm not happy with it. All right, guys. See you soon. One hour later. Here to pick up Nena. I'm excited. Oh, she looks adorable. She don't look bad. She don't look bad. bad. She don't have hair on the ear. Kalina. <gasps> Mira mi Nena. Ay Nena. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Baby. You look different. Oh my goodness. Let me put this down. Look how cute she looks. I think she looks adorable. The girls don't like Nana. She does stick stuff. Okay, well Tati likes it, but the other one says it looks stupid, like right here. Nana, wait, wait. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Karina thinks this looks weird, but I wanted them to keep it because I didn't want them to completely like make her look like a little rat. So I think it looks cute. So that was our day with Nana. Like, subscribe, click on the notification bell so y'all know when my videos are popping. In the meanwhile, remember to be what, Tati? Blessed. Yeah.